Check this out. We have a very simple web application, which looks very simple. We see my account page, which allows us to log in. So let's just do that. After we log in, we can see that it displays our username as well as an API key of ours. Now, would you believe me that this website, this exact one is vulnerable to a very specific type of vulnerability, which one year ago on this exact date brought me $750 and all it took was less than 10 minutes of actual research. Well, I guess you're gonna have to see the video until the end to find out what the vulnerability was. Trust me, it's very specific. And also let me know in the comments down below what you think about it have you ever found it and what do you think was this bounty actually worth it but before we get started with the video if you see the subscribe button please click it as it would mean the world to me i cover a lot of educational stuff on my channel so you subscribing really means a lot but if you want to learn more than what i make on my youtube channel then check out any of my courses from ultimate api hacking course which literally is for android so you can sniff the requests android apps are making to the ultimate bug bounty course which teaches you everything including the game hacking course which also includes some example cheats all three of these courses give you a free premium access forever so even if you cancel the subscription to avano.online which is an amazing website for you if you want to do bug bounty hunting it's like your own companion following you around and telling you where to hunt so check everything in the description now let's go with the video so what is the vulnerability here well this is obviously an imitation of a website but it worked very similarly so when I actually came onto this website, I was genuinely like thinking, what could the vulnerability be? Maybe an XSS, maybe an IDOR, I don't know. But my general thinking was to always go to inspect element and just see what's going on. If I click network and if I hit refresh, on the page I saw a lot of stuff and there was this very interesting request to account details. And when I actually filter by fetch or XHR, you can see that this request does exist. And the preview was very interesting. It also gives you all of the current logged in sessions, including your username and email, which is empty and your API key. This was very interesting to me as the API key was actually the only thing included. This, this wasn't, but an API key being returned was very, very weird to me. So I just right click on the request, click copy and click copy as fetch. Now, what can we do is you probably know about the course vulnerabilities that if one website sends this request and if it goes through, that means we can obviously hack it and get the API key. That was my first initial thought. So I opened up a new tab, went to example.com and here I opened up the inspect element, pasted this right here and just, just wanted to see what would happen if I would click enter. And of course it didn't work. And if I check the pre-flight request, th this didn't really work. So yeah, the reason why this actually was is that there is no access control our origin header present. So I kind of gave up, right? Well, kind of, I did. So I kind of just, you know, minimized this right here, went back out to uh, the, the main page and started to hunt around. I went to the one product, interestingly enough, and I clicked check stock. And well, of course it wasn't click check stock, but then this window kind of opened, but there was actually a request to a subdomain. And I clicked inspect element this, and I wanted to see what was going on actually. So all it does currently is just displays the current stock. And what I wanted to do is I just copy this up close this tab and opened it up in a new tab. I clicked enter and this was very interesting. I played around with the parameters a bit. Again, this is a subdomain, which wasn't in scope, wasn't even mentioned, but yeah, I played around with it and there was this stock level change as soon as I changed the store ID, which was very interesting to me. The product ID was also something interesting. So I put test and oh, I saw an error, the invalid product ID test. And if you know me, errors are very interesting places to look because errors tend to be unsanitized for XSS a lot of the time. So if you see an error message, try XSS payloads. So I did, I tried the most basic one to the test. So instead of test, I'll go for image, just simple XSS payload. I hit enter and of course XSS was working. But when I reached out to the company, I asked which domains I can test and what's actually in scope. Uh, they gave me just the main domain and I asked any subdomains and they say, no, if you find a vulnerability on the main domain, we will take care of it. But any of the subdomain is probably not really their interest because they probably knew about this XSS. So I was like, hmm, interesting. But that gave me an idea. Since this is a subdomain of the main domain, we could maybe just do a course vulnerability, like course exploit, to actually get what I was looking for on the main account, which is this API key. Remember or not, this was actually the request which was responsible for this. So if I could actually just make a request to this and it works from this, I don't know. So I went to try it and bear in mind, this was very like quick. I, I just basically s just robotically have all of this stuff in me. It's kind of almost a muscle memory because I've done this all, a lot of times. So let's see whether this is vulnerable to course or cross origin resource sharing config, whatever. So uh, let's type const uh, R or there we go. We have done that. So uh, 
this will create a new H HTTP request, kind of like a class, whatever. And we need to obviously say R dot open. We can autofill this with credentials, it's true. And after this, we just say R dot send and no errors have been thrown. If I click the network, we can see account details worked. It's 200. The access control our origin was actually set to the stock and you know this subdomain. And in the response, we also saw the API key. So this subdomain could reach the main domain. That's actually the vulnerability here. So yeah, we need to now go about and craft an exploit, which will just do all of this and send it to me. And there is an exploit server for that. So let's just actually do it. So there we go. This would be an exploit, which should work. So I should just put all of this right over here. So yeah, we need to actually open up a script tag. So let's open up that. So script script there we go and now we just need to copy all of this and paste it but we obviously need to go line by line now we can copy this up put it right over here if i could hit enter boom the bad request happened what's happening there's a bad request hell no what's going on oh i forgot to send it oh my god i'm so stupid all right there we go now it should work uh let me replace this all with the new stuff hit enter and boom there we go so we have sent it successfully and if i go over here and click to access log we should see it right over here that's our info and that there is our api key so all we gotta do now is just take this link go back to our exploit server uh, and basically put it here and just make it you know auto redirect there we go so just basically when somebody opens this it will be redirected to this and then that will you know throw this request which will go to the user and get this actual api key and send it back to me over here on uh, as i'm the attacker so let's click store and just to view the exploit just to prove that as you can see if i click exploit uh what's going on why is it stuck and there we go it actually just worked so that's simple let's just deliver this exploit to the victim and hopefully the victim clicks it now let's see the access log okay this is interesting there's the username administrator and there is his email and that should be his actual api key which we can submit the solution here and you know what the hell <laughs> it's not actually correct ah there we go i fault my fault i didn't see that there is a 22 percentage sign so boom there we go so this is the vulnerability i found it was very simple very easy Easy and yeah, it took me like less than 10 minutes to just craft an exploit. Of course, I wasn't actually doing this where I would steal something from an actual victim. Nope. I just basically saw that you can reach your API key through an external subdomain or not actually external. It's just a subdomain for the report. And then like within an hour or two, they were like, yo, thank you so much. The bounty will be 700. But after we fix the issue and yeah, just send us the bank details and simple as that. In my course, actually, I teach a lot about this reaching out to companies and getting permissions to hunt. So yeah, check everything out in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think about this vulnerability. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.